Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls. And welcome to Wedding Week. Or welcome back to Wedding Week. Welcome back to Wedding Week. We're about halfway through Wedding mm -hmm. Week. So we have a really exciting video today that I think a lot of you are going to enjoy. I know we get requests all the time to do wedding centerpieces or wedding styling. So we're going to do that and we're gonna do it four different ways. Now, a lot of this stuff came from the thrift store. Mm -hmm. We wanted to do that so that we could show you there are affordable ways to style wedding tables as well. So once you have a theme or an idea in mind, you can head to the thrift store. You can do this over a period of time and hopefully gain all the items that you need for your wedding. So our first theme is a glam wedding. It's a lot of metallics and blacks, kind of if you're doing a black tie themed wedding, this is probably the vibe you're going for. Low key though, can we talk about glam weddings for a second? Sometimes they're a little bit blingy, a little bougie. A little rhinestone. A little rhinestone-y, <laughs> which isn't really our style. So we did the glam wedding, but in a way that still uh, lends to our style, which I think is pretty cool and fun. So for our base, we went for a black tablecloth with a rose gold sequin runner. This tablecloth, as well as many of the other tables we're gonna show you, is all just fabric from the fabric stores. Sometimes it's cheaper to go that way than to buy pre-made tablecloths. So for a fun twist on name cards, try tying up your napkin with a ribbon and adding a serif letter sticker on the tip with the initials of your guests. For the base of the centerpiece, we found this oval mirror from the thrift store. We also got this vase from the thrift store and we're gonna give it a quick coat of rose gold spray paint on the inside of the glass. This keeps the glass still looking like glass if you spray paint on the inside. So for our centerpiece, we're gonna make a glam rose ball for the top. Start by grabbing some green floral blocks, wet them, and then shape them into a round shape like this. Don't worry if it's not entirely perfectly round. We picked up around two dozen roses and trimmed them pretty short. We pushed them into the foam to create a sphere shape. You could also do this with silk roses if you're looking for a slightly more affordable option. Roses can be spency. And for the table letter, we got this wooden letter from Amazon. We will link it below and spray painted it black. So overall, this table is pretty simple, yet very glam and very chic. I know, I think chic is a little bit minimal sometimes. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, simple, refined. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So our next wedding theme is rustic. This is perfect if you're having an outdoors, barn wedding. So our inspiration and vibe for this theme is woods, laces, and like burlaps. And mason jars, all the mason jars. For the place cards, we used a craft paper and a white paint pen and added a little lace trim around the back to break up the brown. We used a mini clothes peg to hold them in place. For the centerpiece, we used found and thrifted glass bottles and jars and accented them with lace, burlap, and twine. At the thrift store, we also saw these really cool lanterns that could fit the vibe. That's what you're going for. For the table number, we cut a tag shape out of craft paper and tied it to the top of the glass jar with some twine. We placed all of these jars on a tree slab. You can either cut this yourself if you have the wood or look for independent sellers online. We've also seen them in retail stores. Our bouquets were inspired by wildflowers as if they were picked from a field. Check out our blog for the exact flower types that we used. Personally, I think this is very cute. I love the wildflowers. <laughs> Feels very like effortless. Yeah, and it would be easy to do on a budget if you live in an area that has like natural uh, flowers. Yeah. And natural trees. <laughs> and natural burlap. Just go chop up those potato sacks, you know? <laughs> oh my goodness. So this next wedding theme vibe we're calling chic green. It reminds me of like a certain um, Becky's wedding that happened. If you want to see more of this style flushed out, make sure you don't miss my wedding video that's coming this week. It subscribes so you do not miss it. And the previous wedding DIYs yeah. is all kind of, I think, in this vibe. I also like to think of this wedding as kind of like a modern spin on a garden wedding. If that's <laughs> your theme, you could go this route as well. <laughs> so for the name card, we're taking some thick watercolor paper and using a ruler to rip it into a smaller shape instead of cutting it with scissors. This gives a more organic edge to the paper. With a gold gel pen, we wrote on the name in calligraphy-inspired font. We added a single clipping of eucalyptus on top for some decor. So this centerpiece I actually didn't do, but recently on Instagram, we asked people for suggestions of what they wanted to see that was wedding themed, and a subscriber actually sent us this photo, and I loved it so much that I thought we should do it instead for this video. Mm -hmm. So make sure you guys are following us at the Sorry Girls on Instagram and like all the platforms so that you can be involved when you ask for ideas and stuff like this. Yeah. So we cut out two square pieces of three quarter inch MDF. You can make this whatever size works for your centerpiece. We also cut four dowels to size, and again, you can make these as tall or as short as you want for your centerpiece. Measure and drill four holes in each corner of the squares in the size of your dowels. Using wood glue, assemble the centerpiece stand and let it dry. Once it's dry, we painted it gold. 
For the greenery top, lay down a sheet of plastic first to prevent the wet foam from warping the stand. And we're again using our rounded floral foam. For the greens, we're starting with Italian Ruscus and filling in the shape. And we added some baby eucalyptus as a final touch for some extra dimension. And for the table number, we hand ripped a rectangle of watercolor paper. This gives an even softer edge, but it can be a little harder to get the lines straight. We again used the gold gel pen for the number. We painted a wooden dowel gold and glued the sign onto the top and then stuck the dowel into the green foam. We then completed the entire table with a collection of different heights of white pillar candles. Mm -hmm. Personally, this is my favorite just because I ended up doing it anyways, but stay tuned to the end and you guys can tell us what your favorite was. Yeah, we'll have a poll. Our last theme is vintage. This one can be like really easy to, I think, mm -hmm. pull off or maybe a little bit difficult. It kind of depends what you already have access to. The vibe of this wedding is vintage lace, delicate china, old silvers and metallics, mm -hmm. and lost and found items, which is my new favorite word to describe things. We made the place card out of some thick lined paper and then brewed some black tea and then spilled the tea onto the cardstock to tea dye it. We then wrote the name of our guest in a thin black Sharpie in cursive. For the centerpiece, we went with a vintage collected vibe. We found a ton of cool silver serving trays and these vintage books. For the table number, we found this darling detailed gold picture frame at the thrift store. We tea stained white paper for an extra vintage effect and drew on a floral doodle in a ring. We wrote the table number in the center. For the vases, we thrifted a collection of floral cups and teapots. We filled them with classic flowers like carnations and baby's breath, but again, check the blog post for a full list of flowers that we use. We added some candlesticks for height and also found a string of pearls to layer on top. The best part about this is that you can really use any items mm -hmm. to make this centerpiece. I think as long as you're playing with height and different kind of mixed items and even like colors, it's really easy to do and just like get playful with it. Yeah, really unique too. Yeah. I hope you guys like this video, our roundup of four wedding inspired, what? No. Four wedding table. Thanks for coming, Kelsey. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming to work today. Do you want me to say it? All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed watching us style a table in four different wedding themes. It was so fun. How pretty are flowers? <laughs> it was such a good excuse to buy like so many flowers now. I don't know what we're going to do with them, but. Love you having you them. get a bouquet, you get a bouquet. There will be a poll for you to vote which was your favorite style or which one you think we did the best. Mm -hmm. Because I want to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is your vibe, guys. It's a good, it's a way to like sense what yeah. our audience is vibing these days exactly. too. Exactly. And if there's a theme you think that was really obvious that we totally missed, please let us know below and maybe we can do this again with four different styles. Yeah, there's a couple that were on our list that we didn't do, so let us know. And if you guys are into weddings or want to learn any more, there is a whole bunch of stuff this week and then last summer we did a bunch of wedding themed DIYs too, so make sure you go check all those out. And what's on Thursday? My wedding video! I'm excited. Yeah. Now you guys have been waiting for a long time and it's really, really, really good. So. I'm excited for you guys to see it. I feel yeah. like it's it's so good. It's, you guys are going to love it. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that one. Ring that wedding bell, <laughs> aka notification bell, that we're calling wedding bell only for wedding week. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you give it a like. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And we'll see you next time. If you want to put a ring on it, ring that wedding bell. No? Bye. Bye. <laughs>